the blood starts off life when when we when it comes from the blood bank it's very very dark red i mean it's like a kind of deep deep maroon sort of color um but as soon as we put sound into the blood from this in the cymoscope instrument the pattern became bright scarlet really wow. bright scarlet right and then when we stopped the sound the here was this scarlet pattern still staying in the in the blood and we were like what how is this possible and then and then we just left it there and it took i don't know it took well, at, at least 15 minutes to gradually dissolve away this pattern it was just sitting there this pattern you know normally with water you put you inject sound into the water a beautiful pattern will emerge almost like a flower you see like a flower emerging on the surface of the water stop the music or stop the sound and it just literally vanishes it's gone right but not with the blood it just stayed there so this was the the key um piece of information and what we are believing is this that that the hemoglobin molecules in the red blood cells they are being bound to the oxygen that's already dissolved in the blood so when the when we receive the the, the blood from the blood bank it's actually engorged with oxygen there's lots of oxygen in that blood but it's not available to the hemoglobin molecules in the red blood cells because there's no sound present. There's no pressure to cause that binding mechanism, right? Well, in your, in your body, you know, the heart is doing this job for us. Yes, of course, the heart is a pump. We, everyone knows that, you know, it pumps the blood around your bloodstream, but around your circulatory system. But the other function of the pump that we call the heart is to cause this oxygen binding. So every time there's a heart beat, that's actually a low frequency pulse of sound. It's very low frequency sound. And that sound is a mechanical pressure that causes the binding of the oxygen to the hemoglobin, right? And that's how, and also how, by the way, if, we, if, if the heart stops, well, you know what happens, we, we lose consciousness within seconds because our brain requires a lot of oxygen. But the, but the interesting thing here is that when the heart stops, your brain is still engorged with oxygen. Think of all the blood that's you know, coursing throughout your brain. It's still got masses of oxygen in it, but again, not available to the hemoglobin molecules because suddenly there's no pressure pulse from the heart, right? right. So this was, this was the clue. And so basically what's happening in, uh, is that the, with low frequency sound in the music that we are obviously immersing the blood in, the low frequency sounds in the music are effectively acting like a heartbeat in a sense, right? They're causing the oxygen that's already dissolved in the blood to be made available to the red blood cells and what then happens is the proteins in the red blood cells begin to be reactivated they begin to repair the, repair the membranes of the red blood cells 